And welcome back. A group of 15 middle school girls from the Coastal Bend area recently competed a week-long camp at Del Mar College that could literally change their lives. Here's a look. It's called Summer Coding Camp for Girls, and it was hosted by Del Mar College at the Emerging Technology Center on the West Campus. Now, these 15 girls were recruited from middle schools all around the area, and that particular age group was targeted because that's the age when most girls seem to start losing interest in math and science. There's that stigma that only boys are smart enough to do it, so we're trying to break that stigma, and we're trying to get these girls to understand that it's not it's not that hard. If you apply yourself, you can do anything. So once you get these girls to camp, you want them to stay. And that's where these smart girls Barbies come in. The girls love them. Every day has built up to something a little more challenging. And so day one, they did the smart girls, which was the Barbies, and they code them to drive and dance and sing in their little scooters. Day two, they learn about the Spheros. Um, those are more advanced with coding and it kind of leads them into JavaScript. At the beginning, there were a few girls like Riley Richards who says she really wasn't interested in math and science. Uh, I came here because I want to see if it would, this would change my opinion and my thoughts on it. Uh, and it really did work because in a matter of like 30 minutes, I knew so much. and. I am like a pro now. Other girls like Miranda Gonzalez from Ricardo, Texas, love the camp because she knows that coding is a skill she'll need at some point in the future. I think it's amazing because if you start learning programming, well then you're gonna have to learn programming later, but if we're starting it at an earlier age, we're not gonna spend time later learning it all over again. It's not all that hard, is it? No, once you start getting the just of it. Ileana Perez, who will attend Grant Middle School this fall, says her older stepbrother is studying robots and she thinks she might like to be a robotics engineer. I would likely do it for people who need special needs. By all accounts, this camp was a huge success that will really pay off in the future for these young ladies and our community. Oh, certainly. Oh my gosh, yes. And, and living in this area with industry, um, we've, they have lots of positions that need to be filled. And with industry, uh, Chenier, AEP, HEB, Flint Hills, Whataburger, uh, they have all contributed. Without them, we couldn't do this. And what better way than to invest in your community than fill those positions with the kids from our community?